Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you some tips on being consistently successful in the Steel Path circuit on the new Daviri update. So if you didn't know already, the circuit is a endless game mode where you get to pick out of a random five frames, what starts with three, but then you can level that up with the intrinsics. You can pick the frame, and then you can pick from weapons. You need a primary, a secondary, and a melee weapon. And then you go into this door and you go through defense, void flood, survival, exterminate. Apparently is a endless game mode they decided to put in there instead of disruption. Oh, and excavation. In this game mode, you don't have any pets or a gear wheel. So that means no synth fiber to be able to pick up health orbs for equilibrium. And then also no decaying dragon key for shield gating. So the first biggest tip that I can give you is to clean out your inventory. Go to your start menu, equipment inventory and then go to the weapons tab and then go through here and delete the weapons that you don't use they don't have any forma or anything on them you're just done with them and you've just been saving them just because you're a hoarder and once you delete all these it's going to give you much a much more consistent chance of getting a very good run right away and you're not going to be like hampered down or annoyed with getting a bunch of shitty gear all the time and also do the same with your Warframes. I have a ton of Prime frames that don't have builds on them really, which kind of sucks. But any frame that you're waiting to put in the Helmuth, just go put that in the Helmuth and get rid of it. Or just delete it if you're completely done with it and you'll never use it. And for the same reason as the weapons. And as you can see, I went into my Orbiter and came back. And it's the same Warframes that were here before. It's the same weapons that were here before. Because they will not recycle until you go into the circuit and successfully complete a round and then leave the mission. So sadly, you're not able to mod your Warframes here. You can just pick from the configurations that you have already made. So I have some here like this. They have some default mods. But I mean, they're, these are pretty good on the Warframe, I guess. But on the weapons, they're absolutely atrocious sometimes. So I highly suggest once you see the gear that you can pick from to go back to your orbiter and make a build for them. So since you can't traditionally shield gate with Brief Respite and the Augur mods, since there's no decaying dragon key, you're going to have to make a health tank build on a lot of frames. So since Mesa has some damage reduction on her abilities, I'm not too worried about getting armor on here. So I just built Adaptation, Vitality. Uh, I actually think I can change out Energize for Arcane Blessing right here for some more health because on health tank builds, you can put on Hunter Adrenaline for when your health gets damaged, you get energy. So that will make it, since you really can't use Equilibrium since there's no synth the fiber and you kind of just want Arcane slots for other things, you can just put on Hunter Adrenaline for your energy regeneration. I've done a very similar thing with my Banshee here and you can see that I've put on Resonator I, I suggest putting on Resonator onto any frame that has at least a stretch mod and a continuity. This will just make it so there's not as many enemies shooting at you and the objectives you're trying to protect. Some frames that will just be phenomenal in this game mode is Mesa herself because of her Peacemakers. They're basically, you don't need whatever weapon you get, you don't need. You just use the Peacemakers. Here's the build I use if you care. Revenant will never die with Mesmer skin, so just put Roar or Zatas or Eclipse on him and then just pick any weapon that's half decent and your weapon will become OP as can be within like three rounds. So you'll be good with him. Nidus is amazing because he literally doesn't die. This is my Nidus build that I have. I haven't built a Korra, but Korra with a Resonator will be amazing. Mag has a really good time on this because she can actually shield gate with her abilities, so she doesn't have to health tank. And then any weapons you get, you just want to mod Slash on them because there are decrees that give you toxin damage. So with the melee weapons, you just make a normal melee Slash build. This one self primes because the lesion gets toxin damage, so I put on cold, so I'd be able to self prime with viral. I had an insane run with the Spyrex because it does slash damage if you have a impact hemorrhage build, and then I have self priming viral on it also. I was playing Nidus with a Tenet Spyrex, and it looked more like I was playing Gauss with a Kuva Ogress because I've got tons of speed from the decrees. I got this like AOE status spreading ability from the decrees. Just every weapon, as long as it can do basic steel path, will end up being just phenomenal once you get the decrees going. And anytime you get a Warframe that you don't really have a build on or something that you think will be good, I highly suggest you come in and make a build and then just call it circuit so you have it forever. You're gonna to wanna to make builds because we're gonna be doing this for a lot of weeks and you don't wanna be going in and doing one round to hopefully get a better Warframe the next time. Just make a build now so it'll be good forever because we have 31 weapons or like 30 weapons, I don't know, that we have to get through this Incarnate Genesis system 
and it's gonna you're just gonna be wasting time if you don't have builds that are ready to go helmets that you can consider breach surge would be good because it blinds eximus silence can be good because it will just turn off all the abilities that all the annoying enemies have especially the thrax and the new enemies that shoot from really far away or just teleport around and do some crazy stuff any of the damage buff helmets can be good if your warframe or weapons can just ultra carry and you just want to up the damage and you're not worried about dying depending on what warframe you are terrify can be a really good helmet if you don't have a slight Slash weapon that was picked out of the randomizer so this will make it so you can strip armor cc enemies and if you have a warframe with really low shields you might actually be able to shield gate somehow so i hope i gave you some general ideas on how to mod really just understanding how to mod and what's important to mod for is the most important thing so just maybe if you're not the best at modding look up some guides or other things on just general builds but like very general combos work very good like viral heat viral slash corrosive like it all just works really well because on you don't need to be super optimized on these builds they just need to work decently for steel like normal steel path and then they just go out of control from the decrees i don't see any reason to use any of the other operator schools besides vazarin and then vazarin you're just going to get the protective sling to make yourself invincible where a lot of frames have a problem surviving this is just going to give them the ability to get through it and just tank through whatever and then void snare is really nice because you just get to group up a bunch of enemies so you have a small grouping ability just from your operator then if you have the last gasp and vengeance way bound to revive yourself you'll be able to revive yourself really easy with a amp like this with the clamora prism because the fire rate is insane and there are decrees that increase the vulnerability to damage on an enemy by 10 percent with each hit and this thing shoots super fast, so the damage just ramps up extremely fast. Then there's another one that increases your fire rate by like 200% for 0.5 seconds every time you shoot. And this thing shoots fast enough to keep that up all the way. So you just, just chainsaw through enemies and revive yourself. So once you're in a mission, go ahead and collect the decree fragments before you really start anything. It only seems like... So the first time you do defense, you have to like go into the middle and start the defense mission. But then the second time you do it, that shit will start right away for some reason. So be aware of that. And also, I do not suggest going into the second defense mission unless you have an insane team that can definitely make it so in a single enemy does not come anywhere near the defense mission because Thrax will just four shot it. They'll be like around a level thousand by then. They just run up and smack that thing and it's gone and it's bad. I've already lost a couple defenses. So I suggest not going to the second defense mission unless you're extremely confident, but just go around and collect all the decree fragments before you even start objectives because you just kind of want the extra power before you do it and you don't want to forget about it. You can do it before you bring down an excavator. You can just do it before you start killing enemies in survival or exterminate. And then the void flood, you're just running around looking for stuff anyway. So just go ahead and collect all those decree, decree fragments right away so you get those decrees. Also, when you're looking for decrees, they make this sound that sounds like someone breathing, but the person breathing is actually like a squeaky bike tire. So make sure you listen for those because the range of that sound is insane and having headphones will really help with that. One thing I did find is that rolling reload decree does work on battery weapons. So definitely pick that up for weapons that have a long time to recharge their battery. And just base your decrees you get around the weaknesses of your build. So if you need energy, just pick up the ones that give your Warframe energy. And then just pick the decrees that buff the best part of your build. You only really need one weapon to carry you all the way through it. If you have a really good melee weapon, just pick all the melee weapon ones that are good. Buff your crit damage, buff your attack speed. Get the 100% get the one that gives you toxin every three swings because that will kill the corpus corrupted that are around. 100% get that one that gives you status chance in like an AoE. If you have Slash, Heat, or Toxin, get the one that increases the... It doubles the damage of status effects. That's basically your faction mod right there. Anything that buffs a weapon seems to buff the Exalted or Operator weapon. Like if you get the... Every three hits is Toxin. If you're Baruch or Valkyr, you're going to be doing Toxin. If you're Mesa, there's one that increases fire rate. The one that I said that increases the fire rate on the Operator by 200% works on Mesa. Oh, disgusting. Pfft, you're just a chainsaw. I'm pretty sure the damage numbers are coming up faster than the actual like vocal sound. Make sure you're looking at the strongest parts of your build and then making them a little bit stronger while still making sure that the weaknesses of your build aren't pulling you down when you're trying to pick decrees. Okay, that was a lot of general tips that I hope helped you when you're trying to figure this 
circuit thing out. I know it wasn't very specific because it can't be. It's just all based on your arsenal and what you have. And it's going to be different than what I have. If I have any other tips, I'm going to put them down in the pinned comment down below. If you have any tips, please leave them in a comment down below. Also, I would love to know anything more that you have to say. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. Leave a like. Subscribe if you want more Daviri content or other tutorials. I'm definitely going to be putting them out. And I'll see you later.